everybody. It's Chewing the Fat with Wendy, Harry, and Sally. She says, oh, this is this is where I come to get love. This is where I come to get love. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, huh? Oh, yes, it is. Hey, you guys. This is once a week where we come together and we talk about kind of what we've done during the past week and talk about, you know, what we think we should be talking about. First of all, I want to say, you guys, the kicking it up a notch challenge has been working for Harry and I. Oh my gosh, has it been working. Really so many well. of you guys have lost weight and I'm so excited for that. Today was our big, huge salad OMAD day, so it's hardly anything to film other than we had a big, huge, giant salad. We'll add that at the end so you can see what we had, see what our weight was today, and see what that menu looked like on that salad. So after we're done with chewing the fat, Please stay tuned till the end, and we're going to just blip that in there, you guys, so you see it, because we're on track. We are on track to be in the 160s by Christmas. We would like our Christmas present to be 165. Thank you very much, wouldn't we, Harry? Mm -hmm. Sally, your butt's in the air. <laughs> She's a silly girl. This is where she Is always she? gets love. This is where we sit and watch TV. We say, it's couch time couch time Sally and she comes running and she sits down with us hey you guys the reason why I did kicking it up a notch challenge for November is we have a lot of viewers that uh, are new and a lot of regular viewers that are 50 years old and older and a lot of new folks say wow I'm 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 in my 50s I'm in my 60s. I'm in my 70s. I'm in my late 40s. Yeah, late 40s. Nothing's working anymore. I'm just getting sicker. I'm getting fatter. I'm getting more tired. I'm having more things happen. I'm taking more pills because the doctors don't cure anybody anymore. Right. They're just giving you pills to mask the symptoms. Right. And they want to, they've heard about the keto, keto -vore, carnivore lifestyle. And they want to know if it's right for them. Is it too is it too late for them? And I say this: it is never too late to change your bad eating habits into good eating habits. It is never too late to get yourself as healthy as you can. And I say never say never, don't you, Harry? That's right. Sally, we're, we're well, I'm proof of that. Yeah, Harry's yeah, yeah, proof. I'm right. proof of that. I wish I had pictures of me on a walker and me on a cane, well, but I wouldn't pictures. let anybody. I was an old person. You know, I'm 66. I'm going to be 67 in March. Harry is 65. Yes, he holds it over me. And, um, you know, Harry has a bad damaged heart. He had quadruple bypass surgery. I had total hip replacement surgery. I've had two knee surgeries. I could go on and on and on and on and on. However... Because of this keto lifestyle, we have both lost over 50 pounds. Harry's lost over 80, uh, about 75, 75 80. We've 80. got to figure it out. And I've got to get some before and after pictures. And, and we're going to change the front, you guys, so you see some of Harry's pictures, too. Because, oh my gosh, such a difference. But we are healthier in our 60s than we ever were in our 50s. Oh, God, I'm healthier. I was in my 30s. We are healthier now than I we mean, were. Snotty. We're healthier on our keto lifestyle than we were when we were vegan, vegetarian. Because well, I, I had a lot of them already. You know, I had a heart, had a heart attack last year. The last year when we were vegan. Yes. After being a vegan for what? Well, six it years, wasn't. Five years? It'll be exactly a year, so a little over a year ago now. Yeah. Because we really got into this in the uh, September, October, November time frame. Yeah. Well, no, it was right after I had that heart thing. And that's when you said that you got to change. We got to change. Right, right. Because it's not working. Time flies when you're having yeah. fun. But you guys, one of the things I have noticed, the older you get, the more your metabolism slows down because we slow down. Okay, there are exceptions. There are athletes out there. There are triathletes. There are people in their 40, late 40s, 50s, and 60s that still are actively pumping iron, that are actively uh, going to the gym every day, that are actively doing marathons. We are not those people. <laughs> not at all. No. 
you know, we're the slow, easy pace. I lift my little arm weights. We take walks. You know, we want to be able to enjoy the rest of our lives. We want to be as healthy and as happy as possible. You know, and we want to be pain-free doing it. So it's harder and harder as you get older to change up your metabolism, make your, make your metabolism, kick it in gear, kick it up a notch, make it work for you. What happens is you get slower body-wise. You're not doing as much work or exercise. You're eating a little bit less or you're eating garbage and worse food than you did when you were younger okay you are uh, your metabolism has been all over the place if you're like me you've been on every single diet in the entire universe and then some and your metabolism going uh, -uh whoop stop this looks like another diet to me i am not going to do it okay so what we're doing is we're tricking that metabolism if you eat the same thing every day the same amount of calories every day, you get up and you're doing about the same movements every single day, your body is a perfect machine. And it's gonna lower the gears, it's gonna lower the energy, it's gonna lower everything to meet right there. Is what your body's gonna do. And you're gonna go, I wonder why I can't lose weight. Gee, I've been on keto for a year and I've been in a weight loss stall for a year. I've eaten the same 1300 calories and rotated the same the same 10 things every single day so what we're doing is you have to make that metabolism second guess itself you have to make your body work hard for you you don't need to be working hard for your body because your body is holding all that fat for that day when um you know you're going to get up and run a marathon or you're going to have a hard winter or you're going to you know, not have any food available. So what you have to do is you have to make it think it can release that energy. It can produce energy from the fat that's on your own body and that's what we're doing by kicking it up a notch. But what is, how is keto good for seniors? Cedar's awesome for seniors because... Or for people that, you know, in their 40s, 50s, 60s. You know. Because you use your own body's fat for fuel and it helps rid your body of hidden inflammation. And most of the pills you're taking are caused from inflammation of some sort or another, or your, your liver isn't working properly because it's a fatty liver now because of all the garbage you fed it. You're, you're running on glucose. You know, you have all these preservatives and things in your body. You know, your body doesn't know that those preservatives and those artificial foods that you're eating, doesn't know what to put, where to put them. Where do I put them? What do I do with them? I can't use them. What do I do? Ah, let's throw it right here on Wendy's thighs. Right? Yeah, or put it You're in using the seed oils that are absolutely horrible, that are nasty, that have way too many omega-6s. Where do I put that? Right here on Wendy's stomach. Just shove it in those fat cells. Let it hold it. Just shove them in there until they can't hand, hold any more. So I think that when you start getting arthritis, when you start having... Um, type 2 diabetes, when you start having some symptoms of other more dangerous things, keto helps alleviate them. You can reverse type 2 diabetes. You can at least with osteoarthritis, if you are eating heavy, heavy dairy and you're having pain and arthritis and an inflammation, I would suggest removing the dairy from your diet. Oh, I would suggest doing a carnivore elimination diet like Harry and I did. And if you want to see that, can you put the link at the end? The carnivore elimination diet? Yeah. yeah. We'll because put the first one up there. It made a huge difference to us. And then add back things slowly so that you see what is good for your body. But I'm telling you, you don't have to be a, an athlete. You can be an older adult. You can have, you can be chair bound and do keto and have it work for you. Uh -huh. You can do little things to tweak your metabolism, to kick, put the light, the fire, start the spark under your metabolism so that it's not afraid to lose fat and use fat for fuel. You know, when you light that fire. Yeah, that's scary, though. It is. That's I scary know it because is. it was very scary for me. Well, yeah. I and thought we I was killing for, you. Yeah, we were going from veganism over to this stuff. It was like, here, 
just eat plant food. And then nothing was working. And no this, fat. And no and fat. No God, salt. whatever you eat, don't eat fat because it clogs your salt. arteries oh, up. Oh, salt. Okay, all this stuff. Don't eat fat because it clogs your arteries up. Then it was, okay, don't eat, <laughs> don't eat the vegetables and all this stuff. Just eat the fat and the meat. It was like, what? You're gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna kill me. No, I and thought I was gonna kill enough, you or cure you. She did enough reading to where I trusted what she had to say. And I read and, a lot. Yeah, I read a lot, and so it, it really, because it really worked. And if if anybody watching this has high blood pressure, hardening type, of the arteries, type two diabetes, type two diabetes, these osteoarthritis, are, these are the things that I'm curing. I have cured. Most yeah, you were us. borderline. You were going into type two diabetes. diabetes you uh, were shaking, cold sweats. You had horrible after you'd eat oatmeal. An hour later, your blood sugar would drop down to the floor. You know, mm -hmm. hypoglycemia. You had all that, and super high, 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 high blood pressure. Oh my gosh! When we first started doing this, and we took him off of his um, blood pressure medicine, two weeks. And he had 175 over 150 or some outrageous. Yeah, we got dropped. him right into the emergency room. No, well, that time, yes. when it went up. Yes, it went crazy. Um, so, Sally, Come we're here. busy. Come here. No, I, what? Okay, okay, we're, we're talking. We're talking here. Yeah, we're yeah. talking. Come on. It's not time. She thinks it's time for FOOD, folks. It's not. Anyway. Sorry about that. This is our puppy, Sally Girl, Sally Snickerdoodle. And um, she's our puppy, and we love her and treat her as much like a fur baby human as we possibly can. And she bosses us around all the time. Anyway, you guys. So, yes, if you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, there is no time like the present. There's no time like today to kick it in gear. Stop you know, eating the sad the, diet. Yeah, the thing about it was what you need to make what everybody needs to understand is was just two weeks after I started this diet, just two weeks, everything began to normalize. And you had really bad all the brain stuff fog. the doctors were trying to do by putting me on all these medications. I was on yeah. twelve medications. Yeah. All this stuff to make me normalize didn't work. They were band aids. They kept giving yeah. you band aids. Within, within two weeks, after I got on this thing, everything started to normalize. You're on half of a blood pressure medicine. Now. You and that's take, for a kidney problem. Right. But you also take uh, something for gout when you get gout. Every once in a while you get gout. Yeah, right yeah. after we did carnivore, you got gout. Right. Um, but you don't take it all the time. No, I, I don't take, take anything. To. My temperature is 97 over 97.5. My blood pressure is like 100. Or, I have to be careful because my blood pressure gets too low. My blood pressure on a normal day is about 105 over 62 to 5, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, um, I'm not taking anything. Now, when I had my lap band put in in 2005, I was told I had a very fatty liver. I weighed 282 pounds. When I had my lap band removed in November, so November 19th, 2019 is when I had my lap band removed, you guys, and I've lost a ton of weight since then. Oh, that thing did nothing. Um, I had more problems, more challenges. I'm so happy two of you ladies have gotten your lap band out this year. I'm so happy for you guys. You guys, it's, it's wonderful that you have your lap band removed. You will feel so much better. You really will. But anyway, um... And I've been able to raise my metabolism. I was on 500 to 800 calories a day and not losing any weight. And I'm up to about 1,200 to 1,400. Sometimes I dip a little low. Sometimes I go a little higher. But I'm training my body to lose the weight, burn the fire, burn the fat, use the food, and use it wisely. You know, it's my body. I feel fabulous, you guys. I feel fabulous. I'm able to move. I'm able to get up and down off the floor. I'm able to put my shoes on by myself. Okay, here's the deal, you guys. Mm. I could not put my shoes on because my pain and my back and my legs and my hip and my knee, I could not lift my leg or bend down enough to get my shoes on. I bought shoes that I could slip on and walk around in. And I would have been in a wheelchair I was wheelchair bound. Well, you were for a short well. That was time. a short amount of time after yeah. I had I had I tore the labrum in my hip, 
and then I had hip uh, labrum uh, tear repair and I was in excruciating pain from that and then afterwards it did not work and then eventually I had to have a hip replacement. Two knee surgeries all on my right side but you guys I was an old person and I feel like I am physically 20 years younger oh, yeah. than I was in my 50s when I was on in, on a walker, on a cane, and could barely move. I, I really, really do. You too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're we're totally, doing stuff totally again. Different. Yeah, we're doing stuff we were again. Like, we'd, we'd sit in a chair and just, you know, just watch TV and eat. Yeah. And now we're doing stuff, you know, where... Um, ATVN? Yeah, we're ATV and we're off-road camping. We're camping again. We used to camp when the kids were little. We love going off-roading. We love going camping. We love going antiquing. We love going out to some of these little towns out here in Arizona. Got some cute towns and go out through the stores and go antiquing and just really enjoying life. We're, we went and took a hike. Uh, we went to the Rose Garden today that is over in Encanto Park. It's a rose society. It was started in 1938. We took Sally over there to see the roses and walked around and took a nice walk and it was really nice and it was beautiful. So, I mean, I used to love to hike. I used to love to do all those things and I just couldn't. I made myself old and now I'm younger than I think I have been and like I said, in 20 years. So yes, oh, the answer is yes, more yes, now. yes. I don't care if you're a man, I don't care if you're a woman, you can do this pre, pre post menopausal, uh, cancer survivor, um, autoimmune disorders, type 2 diabetic, heart issues, yes, yes, yes. I suggest that you talk to your doctor because Harry and I are not doctors, we're not medical pr practitioners, we are not um, in the medical field at all. Talk to your doctor about it. And like Dr. Ken Berry said, you can fire your doctor. You can Google keto doctors. I've done doctors. that quite a few times. Here in Arizona, there are several <laughs> doctors that are keto lifestyle. Dr. Nally is one, Dr. Muscles. He's out in Surprise, Arizona. There are doctors that will support it. Now, Harry's in, doctor of internal medicine supports it. He may not understand it or believe it but what he has seen happen to Harry and I he said it's a magic bullet whatever you've done continue to do it because it is working for you so he hasn't tried to talk us out of it oh no he has he listens to what we have to say he asks questions and he just thinks that what we're doing is fabulous for us it's amazing so he said it's absolutely amazing and her, Harry's heart doctor, same thing. Harry, if I didn't know it was you, and I didn't know your heart history, looking at your blood workup, I would say, everything's fine, everything's normal. Go out and have a nice, li nice life, goodbye. And then he said, but I do wanna put you on stents because I'm still concerned. And Harry said, no. no. And he goes, well, okay, but you know, if you think you need to be on them, and we're like going, no, no, thank you. So yes, the answer is yes. It is never too late to change your health because you may not be able to heal yourself 100%, but you're gonna be able to get back some of the vim and vigor. You're gonna be able to feel better than you are right now eating a oh, sad yeah. diet. You are gonna feel better about moving your body because your body is gonna be less inflamed. You are going to do better because the foods you are eating are going to nourish and strengthen your body. And folks, in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, you want to preserve your lean muscle mass. You want your body to eat the fat, burn the fat for a fuel and energy, and leave your protein, your, your muscle mass alone. You want it to preserve your bones. You want to preserve the bones as well, and the keto lifestyle does that. You want to remember to eat your electro, drink your electrolytes every day, every single day, you guys, and eat enough protein. So I think that's about it for today. You know, I just mm -hmm. want to say yes. The answer is yes. Yes, you can. It doesn't matter how old or how young you are. There's no time like today to heal your body, to start and all it takes is that first bite of food. Yeah. Or it. better yet, to 
say no to the food you were eating. That's that's all I'm saying. Say no to the food. And I, I know that everybody wants if if you don't if you've never really looked into this before. It's kind of confusing because you just think it's another diet. It's not. But it's, it's a not lifestyle. another diet. It's a lifestyle. But the food you get, believe me, it's more than enough. Okay. It's there's enough different kinds of varieties out there for you to have. It's, there are. It's craziness now. So there are. Yeah. Yep. yep. There are. So and you're gonna find a hidden inflammation that you had that will totally be eliminated because you didn't know you were not uh, allergic to gluten. You were. You just were intolerant to it. You're gonna find out that potatoes were wrong for you. The nightshade family was wrong for you. You're gonna find a lot of stuff that um, caused hidden inflammation. Yeah, and inflammation once you heal you the inflammation and heal your body from the inside out is what you guys are gonna do. Anyway, you guys, we're gonna wrap this up. Hey, I hope you stay tuned to the end because we're gonna show you what we had today on our OMAD. Harry calls it. His big ass salad. Well, that's a big ass salad. Is, I said man. it sure is. And we'll share just a little bit of the rose garden that we took Sally to today. Anyway, everybody, stay tuned for that. As I mentioned earlier, I did not write yesterday's food on the board because we basically had steak and ice cream. Harry had some chicken when he came home last night. He had four ounces or six ounces of chicken. It was mm -hmm. a chicken breast. So we had a great time at Chalices, and today, you guys, Harry did not go up or down. No, that's you. I mean, I did not go up or down. I'm sorry. I apologize. <sighs> Wendy did not go up or down. Harry went up four tenths, but you guys, he's at all-time new low. So I'm not worried about this because yesterday we didn't drink a lot of water. We did not stay that hydrated um, at Chalice and David's. So I'm attributing that and I'm attributing a small bounce because of the yeah, I two all-time new lows. Yeah, I think it's a bounce. So I think it's just a bounce. I think it'll all settle in and I'm really excited about our weight today. Hey, you guys, in preparation for our OMAD one big salad, we went to Sprouts. I was going to get primal dressing, but you guys, Sprouts has made... Can you take this? Yeah. Keto, paleo, really good ingredient dressings. They've got Caesar, ranch, green goddess, hatch ranch is gonna be spicy, and balsamic. These are all one, one gram of carb or less per serving. Wonderful ingredients, avocado oil, and they were on sale so I got each one of the flavors for us, and I also got some sheep, pepper jack, goat cheese for our one big salad today. So you guys, I want you guys to come back and see our big salad, our finished product today, because today's just a nomad. It's gonna be plain and simple, one big salad. But I think I'm gonna pick one of these to go on there. I think I wanna try the hatch. Okay. I think I wanna try yeah. the hatch. Yeah. Here, look at the look at the ingredients. Well, the ingredients are really good, you guys. So I'm very excited to try it. Today is Saturday. It is the 7th of November. It's our seventh day, and we are having a nomad day and our one big salad, you guys. So our one big salad is going to be four ounces of chicken, four ounces of turkey, um, four ounces of top sirloin steak of which I only had two ounces, two ounces of pepper jack cheese, two ounces feta cheese, and 1.5 ounces of the Hatch Ranch dressing by Sprouts. So Harry's having four chicken, four turkey, four steak, two pepper cheese, two feta cheese, 1.5 ounce Hatch Ranch dressing. We're having our collagen, and we're having our coconut almond milk. One in the morning to just because we needed it, and then one we had with our dinner. Six 
50% carbs, 15 grams, 58% fat for a total of 68 grams, 36% protein for a total of 94 grams, and our total calories for me were uh, 1,051. Here we had 5% carbs for a total of 15 grams, 59% fat for a total of 75 grams, 36% protein for a total of 105 grams, and his total calories are 1,156. And you guys, these salads are gonna be huge, and we'll bring you back when I share all that and share our salad with everybody. Okay, everybody, it's our OMAD big ass salad day, as Harry says. So big I'm gonna make one giant big salad for each of us. I am gonna put smoked roasted turkey breast in it. I'm gonna put leftover steak in it. I was About four steak. ounces of turkey, four ounces of steak, and four ounces of pulled chicken mm -hmm. from a roasted rotisserie chicken. Yeah. I am gonna put some feta cheese. Oh, I love feta cheese. I'm gonna that put blue cheese, you some know. sheep, pepper jack cheese. That's good stuff too. Yeah, it is. I usually don't gain weight on that. No, you don't, because it's sheep. I'm gonna put a bed of romaine hearts lettuce. Mm, that's my favorite lettuce. And I'm gonna put some super greens bun, because it's my favorite. Yeah some alfalfa sprouts grass <gasps> did i say a squeeze of lemon i can't remember no. anyway you guys i'm gonna also use this hatch ranch that's what i'm interested in avocado oil you guys this has avocado oil apple cider vinegar hatch chilies egg yolks distilled vinegar sea salt onion powder garlic powder lemon juice concentrate Nutritional yeast, jalapeno powder, chives, parsley, yeast extract, black pepper, rosemary extract, dill. Yes. Yes, it is. It's clean? Yes, it's clean. And it's less than, oh, it's one carb per two tablespoons. We'll probably each have four tablespoons. Anyway, you guys, we'll come back with that big-ass salad. Okay, you guys, this is our big ass salad for today. And you guys, this has four ounces of steak, four ounces of turkey, four ounces of chicken, two ounces of feta cheese, two ounces of pepper jack cheese. It's got romaine and it's got that super greens. It's got a little bit of sprouts and it's got the hatch dressing on it, you guys. This is what we are eating today. It's a nomad day and it's a one big salad day, you guys. Looks good. You know what my buddy said to me when he was over here the other day? What? Because Harry, you got a set of big bowls. Okay, Harry. <laughs> I'm gonna put some Redmond's organic seasoning on here. Get it on the meat. I put a little bit of our dressing. I got two ounces each of dressing in here. No, one, one and a half ounces. And that's for this salad and that's for this salad, but you guys. Hey you guys, it's such a beautiful day. We came to Encanto Park. This is the rose garden part of it. And the roses will start getting super pretty now that the hot weather is done. They're just starting to come out. They get scorched and sunburned during the summertime so this is the perfect time of the year for roses so we'll take you along and pan out and show some of the pretty roses here the story is of this little rose park it's a rose society the neighborhood wanted to start a rose garden society and uh so this is what they kind of have look at those aren't those pretty
that's a big wrap. If you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, give us a thumbs up. You guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Here you go. Yeah, it looks good, huh? If I eat this, those are big bowls. They are huge. That's one big salad, man. <laughs>